What will one day be among the world's largest telescopes is a big step closer to completion. This week, a team at the University of Arizona finished work on one of the giant Magellan Telescope's mirrors. Don Daler reports on 20 tons of heated glass and one very enthusiastic project director. Not all explorers travel with their physical bodies. Astronomers like Pat McCarthy venture forth with their eyes only. For me, I just want to know where am I? Where do I live? And in some sense, if you keep asking that question, it gets bigger and bigger until you get out all the way to the observable universe. And that just, for me, is endlessly fascinating. That fascination began with a 10th birthday present. I got this little two-inch refractor. It's a little lens telescope. And I took it out in the backyard, just pointed up to a star, just at random. Turned out it wasn't a star, it was Saturn. Now 52, he has graduated to bigger telescopes, much bigger. The glass of each of the giant Magellan Telescope's mirrors is melted in an oven for four months. We're going to have seven of them in a structure that weighs 1,200 tons. When completed in 2022, those seven mirrors, each measuring 27 feet across, will give astronomers 10 times the power of the Hubble Telescope. For the first time, planets outside our solar system will be visible. The Magellan will allow McCarthy and his team of international astronomers to peer into faraway places from its own faraway place, a remote mountaintop in Chile. It's a fabulous place that's dark, excellent images, great weather, and we have the benefit that the center of the Milky Way galaxy goes right overhead. Until then, this intergalactic traveler waits as his ship to the stars is built. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.